Hello again, Yarny Peepers. Um, just wanted to show you the progression on the wig that I've been working on for probably three days. And I probably have, I have the whole back here that I have to finish. Um, and then the bangs. And so I probably have another couple days of rug hooking this together. And, um, just wanted to show you what I've got so far. Um, I just looked because I didn't see the thing going. I didn't know I was recording or not. Anyway, um, I mapped out the back. I did extend the colors in the back to a little longer. So this next row will be green and then purple. And then I started the bottom of the blue. And that's bottom part will be blue. I also crocheted or chained the uh, thread that goes and I weave in and out of the um, perimeter of the skull cap. And let me see if I can flip this for a sec. And then hold on one sec. I know it's a lot of yarn. It, like I said, this is an amazing yarn eater. I've, uh, I've got like, I think 12 skeins and I've gone through, yeah, I'll probably go through almost 10 skeins of yarn by the time I'm done. See the fullness? Um, all right, so this is the, okay. So this is gonna be the bangs. And what I've decided to do, I didn't do the green on this side and whatnot. I did go all the way down on this one that I think I showed you uh, in the other section of this. Let me see, hold it up. All right, so this is gonna be the bangs. And I made them, I cut these strands a little shorter, but I did pull the blue Instead of stopping the blue and then extending these colors, I pulled the blue all the way down so it will actually connect with the blue on the back. And then what I've decided to do, and I think I have enough rows here to pull it off, is do a row, like a row or two of green, and then the, um, the yellow, and then the orange, and then I won't bother with doing the red because the red is, it's gonna be a lot of red on the top. So I think that's what I'm going to do with the bangs. And then once I have that, I made them long enough so they work on the sides, like I had said in the other video, where I like it to be almost angled so it frames the face. And all this will be cut, you know, to whatever um, length we need for, for the uh, bang to be. Um, also, let's see if I can show you... If I flip this, okay, let me get up close and personal to see if I could pull this off. All right, so the strands here, so if you're making one of these, I'm in a very uncomfortable squatting position right now. Um, I The threading that I weaved through, the, um, what do you call, uh, whatever it is, a chain, so you can tighten the wig once you have it on. I. I went up three, the third section uh, row is where I weaved it in and out. So the very first one, I connected it with the little knobbies on top. Like I said, that just helps to cover the skull cap. And then the second one is also um, not a part of where that's being weaved. And then the third one, this very top row here is in fact weaved around the um, string that's going across and weaving is, is hooked around where I weaved the, um, the string. So these you have to be careful when you're putting these in that you don't hook it into the, the, the thread, the, the, the rope because otherwise it won't, it'll get jammed, it won't work. So that's the only thing you have to really, that's the only caution I have with this um, when you're making them. And also I'll pull this out just to show maybe, oh my God, there's like so much yarn. Like I said, this is just an insane yarn eater. I mean, I'm literally gonna have to go out and buy all new pride colors because this has pretty much eaten up my st stash. Okay, so now this is going to be bangs. Remember that. And then this is the part, and she still has her knife in her head. And then in the back, oh gosh, I'm winging this while I'm doing it. So it's, you know, 
it, this all falls. I mean, it looks all ratty, but it, it, it will, a few shakes of a lamb's tail and it, it all falls nicely. So what I've done here in the back, I had the part going all the way back and then, so this is, this would actually be the part, but now I'm hooking in um, this direction so that this part here, uh, there's a hair tie in here, so it's not showing you. I don't know if you can see, this is, see how this is, can you tell how that kind of is gonna puff up a little bit? And I'm gonna actually go up higher and puff it up even more. So yeah, so far it's, like I said, it takes time but they are really fun and this weighs probably five pounds <laughs> at this point but so when it's on your head it's heavy so you have to have a strong neck to wear these um i did notice that my blues i didn't didn't do any more blue so blue is going to hang longer but i think i cut the greens a little too long uh so it, it's kind of covering the purples and the blues so I might have to go through, separate and divide, and because you see where the, the yellow is here, the red, orange, and then the yellow, I, I did definitely cut these greens longer than they need to be. So I will go and trim the greens about here. So then you see the then you'll be able to see the purple. And I will I need to cut more blues, so I will just cut the blues longer so they'll hang even longer. But yeah, it, it it looks so pink and fluorescent on my lighting. My gosh, my lights in here really blow this shit out. But anyway, yeah, that's where the wig is at at this point. Still, I'm, I'm about two days away from um, to finish this whole side on, on here, all those colors. Um, I'll need to finish the bangs and then also finish the back, which I showed you, the back. That all needs to be done. So I'm probably looking at another two days or more of doing this. But anyway, that's, that's where it's at so far, and fun. And if you don't like it as a, a wig, you could always use it as a mop. Anyway, it's so wonderful to see all of you. I'm sorry I look like whatever I look like because it's been a rough. And I'm home, so I don't get myself all fussed up at, at home. Anyway, good seeing you. Love you all. Be safe. Be kind.